Silent Swordsman. That's right. This little guy that Yugi played in the final duel against the Tem has finally grown up into this. Now, granted, on a very technical level, he could always become this, but you would have to go through the traditional level up method. Going from Silent Swordsman level 3 to level 5 to level 7 while accomplishing different objectives to get those cards to those states. Which, while it was a lot of fun to do that, let's be honest, it wasn't even that good back in the day. So in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you would probably summon Silent Swordsman level 3, only to get an exclusive first look at your opponent's upcoming film, Drytron the Movie. Thankfully though, like I said, Silent Swordsman has done some growing up over the years and now just has this level 4 version of Silent Swordsman who you can special summon by tributing one warrior monster. And he gets you one spell negated turn and also gains 500 attack points for every standby phase that passes. The best part is even if this card does go to your graveyard, he has another special effect that allows you to summon the OG Silent Swordsman level 7 from your deck anyway. So immediately I saw this card and was like, wait, there is hope for one of my favorite monsters to actually have a playable deck went online and most people were running a deck with phantom knights which are warrior cards that actually like going to the graveyard anyway so of course once i saw that i knew this video was locked in we are going to hop into online ranked matches in master duel and try to get some wins using this silent swordsman deck if you enjoy these Yu -Gi Oh videos and want to see more of them definitely let me know down below in the comments and hit the like button but with that said let's go ahead and get into the duels coin flip coming up Oh my god, I have not gone first in years, man. Whatever, it doesn't matter what time we start the duel. What matters is that we're dueling right now. Damn, I got two Ash Blossoms. Oh my goodness. And a Silent Sword Slash in my hand? All right, hey, I'm not complaining. I'll use it. <laughs> oh, this hand is wild. I, hey, no. <laughs> no, simply, simply no. I am, I am not doing that. All right, draw. Chaos space. All right, that should work. Uh, well, really, the play here is just we're going to play the Phantom Knights, who is a warrior. Now, the reason this deck is so good is because the Phantom Knights like being in the graveyard anyway. Uh, if this goes through, I don't know what our opponent can do right now. The Phantom Knights like being in the graveyard, and in order to get this Silent Swordsman out, you have to special summon him by tributing one warrior monster. So really, these two go very nicely together. It also just gives you some back row. So immediately, we're getting rid of him, and we're summoning Silent Swordsman. This card also lets us negate one spell per turn for our opponent so that's also very very good obviously a trap card return them to the hand well this is why we keep silent sword slash in our hand baby because i ain't i ain't leaving i ain't going nowhere and i'm getting a damage boost let's go silent sword slash cut that trap card in half i'm not going anywhere you can go ahead and leave if you want but i got another ash blossom <laughs> Dude, what a... What, two Ash Blossoms? No! No! Devastating! Devastating! It can't end like this! It can't end like this! Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, he doesn't care! He's a mad lad! He literally doesn't care about Solemn Judgment! Literally could care less! I'm gonna ban his Silent Sword Slash from my graveyard! And it's over! He's again. He went next! He was like, nah! <laughs> I just cut that man's chances in winning in half. Silent sword slash, and he's out of there. <laughs> you gotta read. I mean, I gotta read. I forgot that you can't do anything to that card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, second duel. Can I get... Damn it. <laughs> Another situation, dude. We are looking mighty fine right now. We can even get all the Silent Swordsmen to our hand if we want, uh, which I think we will probably do uh, just because it's, I don't know, better for business to have more cards in your hand. I mean, you won't hear me complaining about it. Trade in. Are we facing a Blue Eyes player? Is this going to be a classic? What in the, What was that? Galactic Spiral Dragon? What is this beast? We barely got to go into the ins and outs of the Silent Swordsman deck. It, this is still like the first duel i still gotta explain everything what, what just happened he ended his turn oh my goodness this is gonna this is gonna be a turn right here we're gonna summon another phantom knight warrior this allows us to special summon our silent swordsman face up attack obviously you just want to play him keep him nice and safe and then we can even activate his effect from the graveyard so we're just gonna toss him boom into the banish pile like i said the phantom knights love being in the graveyard they actually prefer it then we can go ahead and get hmm i think i kind of have to go with this guy because I'm, I'm just, you know what? We just playing. We're just, we're just playing today. So boom, we're going to play this, the Phantom Knight's trap card. If no trap cards are in your grave, you get to instantly play it. He's another warrior. Bada bing, bada boom. He's out of there. Now we've got 
who silent swordsman and now we're going to use foolish burial goods which allows us to send one spell or trap from our deck to the graveyard and we are going to choose to send a silent sword slash in our graveyard silent sword slash allows us to banish it in order to search for you guessed it silent swordsman himself so we're just going to add him back to our hand i don't think he's going to stick around for long because with the spell card empowerment we are just going to play this get rid of him mm -hmm. and now uh we're just going to ditch him i think we're ditching the silent swordsman yep discard one card silent swordsman i'm sorry you gotta go my man you gotta go so that we could special summon again mm, which one do we want to special summon i'll just go with this one we could theoretically here we could go for two spell negates but i think i would rather go for and hear me out on this i think i want to go for the time thief play so i'm gonna get rid of one of my silent swordsmen and i'm just gonna have a time thief out here time thief redoer and then we're just gonna go into battle phase time thief redoer we'll get into why i like him in this deck so much it's mostly just because he's really annoying so we're gonna get one direct attack with silent swordsman another one with the time thief as long as he doesn't have anything like a karibo and now we're gonna get into why time thief is so annoying but first we're gonna set silent sword slash because that card is just that card is just necessary <laughs> that card is just broken all right so now it's time to go into time thief's effect this card has different effects based on what you have attached to it and once per turn during the standby phase i get to steal a card from my opponent's deck oh yeah and i forgot every time we pass a standby phase silent swordsman gets 500 more attack so this is one standby phase so that's 500 attack and we're gonna go ahead and uh you mind if i just swipe <laughs> steal a card and it looks like we stole photon sanctuary i really don't know what what deck this guy is playing right now another trade in do we negate trade in we definitely could negate trade in that's tantalizing i'm not going to lie to you is it smart though ah trade in he already got his card in the graveyard ah we'll just negate it what the hell we're silent swordsman i'm not letting a spell card get by me nah never in a million years what am i thinking about spell cards cut that card in half he doesn't get to draw two no more pot of greeds i'm going to regret this very soon aren't i oh i didn't regret it all right another standby phase means silent swordsman's going to beef up and time thief redoer is going to go ahead and keep stealing cards <laughs> do i want to all right i'm just gonna hey i think this duel's over but <laughs> i might as well get rid of both of these spell cards you can have them back man this duel has long since ended i think and if not we got to remember that we got a special summon a monster oh yeah it's over <laughs> It's, it's over. It's, it's, it's we're going now. GG go next. Are we gonna rank up? We might get a rank up this video if we can win this next duel. Do we get first? Ooh, why am I not winning any coin tosses as of late, man? I feel like I am just not the coin toss god I used to be. Roberto, if you could be kind enough to let me go first. Oh my god. Okay, got a decent hand here, actually. This is quite, this is quite the hand. Now, I know we don't see a silent swordsman in my hand as of yet, but that is totally okay. We do not need a silent swordsman to feel like we are being protected by a silent swordsman. Oh, a dark magician deck. He's playing dark magical circle. Um... No, this is not worth it. I don't know what we Ash Blossom and Dark Magician, but not worth it. Uh, maybe that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see, dude. We'll have to see. I'm not sure where Roberto's going to go with this. He changed the order on the top of his deck. He definitely, I don't think he got anything too crazy. He's activating the field spell. He's going to try to get, oh no, I couldn't even, I couldn't even stop it. Never mind. I thought that was the negate target. Eternal Soul is going to hit the field. Do we care? I think we do. Dark Magician hits the graveyard. <laughs> to bring out Apprentice Illusion Magician. Uh, I don't know what, what you're doing there, partner, but I'm not going to allow that <laughs> no dark magician to your hand sadly he is trying to use that eternal soul mm, all right we've got to make our move here and fast so the way we're going to go about getting a silent swordsman in our hand here is we're going to draw chaos space that's nice we're going to foolish burial this will allow us to send the spell card if it goes through all right then we're just going to activate empowerment <laughs> i'm scared now dude i'm scared oh my god we're going to go over here get our uh get our bootstraps on yep go ahead banish him let me go ahead and get a trap card we're just getting some effects now this is really all we need to do all right we're gonna get our oh this is good too though all right we're gonna do we're gonna get this card we're gonna get this trap card because we're not gonna it's not we're not gonna be in dire straits anyway we're just gonna summon this trap card as a level four beautiful little effect here i am waiting to see if this goes through oh my goodness okay good <laughs> all right so that goes through now we have a level four trap card on the field who's also a warrior so he would work in case we did have a, a silent swordsman to draw which uh, i'm gonna be working on here in a little bit we are getting a empowered monster oh what's this oh he's trying to he's trying to get it out of my graveyard uh i kind of do care about that i think yeah that kind of sucks that's tough that's tough that's tough 
And now he gets to banish both of my monsters. Oh, rough. We're gonna just have to go with the backup plan, dude. We, don't, we have nothing else. I'm just gonna go Time Thief. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Everything else, the Silent Swordsman plan failed. We have to just go Time Thief. Time Thief Redoer. Now, ideally, I would have made this guy with the trap card because then I would have been able to bounce something, which would have been really good. But unfortunately, that's not the hand we were dealt. Um, so instead, we're just gonna go all in. I'm just gonna attack. <laughs> this should be a knockout. We'll see what happens. 400 damage and apprentice this illusion magician off the field i'll take it not bad at all and now here's where time thief's real annoying effect this is why i like time thief in this deck a lot oh what is this necrofusion what the wow he has necrofusion in this deck he wanted cards in the graveyard all right well this is getting scary <laughs> this is a different duel dude what is this fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing fusion materials mentioned on it from your graveyard face down it cannot attack this turn which is fine because it's still my turn two spell casters and we know it was dark magician girl and apprentice this illusion the dark magicians all right that's gonna be uh that's gonna be a little interesting in getting over that we'll have to see it's not the most threatening thing in the world but it does give him extra draw power which is not good but we'll have to see so he's gonna get his draw he'll draw whatever monster he gets and then i'm gonna take my draw <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What am I gonna get? Hold on. You did your draw. Let me get mine. Hold on. Let me draw a card from your deck. Hopefully, I'm hoping for a trap card. Draw! Oh, spell card. That's not good. <laughs> that is not what I wanted. Okay, so we're gonna keep the effect for the monster then. He's going with the magician soul effect. You hate to see it happen. Dark magician is now in the graveyard, boys, which means it is about to get eternal sold, and things are about to start getting banished. The dark magician deck is officially online. Here comes dark magician to banish something. All right, time thief redoer has has been targeted and i'm getting out of here <laughs> I am leaving, dude. Oh my god, I am gone. All right, I'm gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, we drew Silent Swordsman. That could be good. We'll have to see. I mean, we, we're kind of running out of time here. He gets the draw because he used Dark Magical Circle, so he gets his bit of draw power. This is bad. This is very, very bad. <laughs> you can't... You hate to see it happen. Here... Oh, our life points are wide open. And he has Eternal Soul. It's going to be rough getting out of this one, boys. It's going to be rough. Actually, hmm, I have an idea. <laughs> Oh, he's linking. He's going to eternal soul. He might actually go for the kill here. We Witch's Apprentice. Who is that? I've never seen this card. All Dark Monsters gave 500 attack. Damn. All light. He's countering me. That's a pretty good link monster for that deck. Is it game yet? I don't know if it's game. I don't know if it's game because he can he can eternal soul uh, Dark Magician. And then he's going to go after my spell card. Oh, no. This is rough. This is rough. It's going to... Ooh, it's going to come down to the wire, dude. What can we draw here that'll turn the tides? Oh, man. We barely live. Time Thief is back oh wow i got an attack boost too silent sword slash that is a good card for us <laughs> oh and yes i will be taking him I, I will be take can i get a trap card this guy is cooked if i get a trap card from his deck right now eternal soul he should have why did he not activate that before wouldn't i have lost i don't know maybe did he misplay <laughs> whatever man the, a duel's a duel you can't <laughs> a duel is simply a duel dark magician comes back he's gonna make me uh he's gonna make me scram <laughs> he's gonna make me leave again <laughs> Dark Magical Circle. If he targets Time Thief, we just scram. <laughs> do we get to scram? I'm pretty sure we do. He's going to draw off this. Oh, I don't think we... Oh, okay, we do. All right, well... <laughs> You know, I hate to I, I hate to eat and run, but <laughs> I really ought to get going before I get banished. So, oh, I took his I took his negate. <laughs> that would have actually been devastating. Oh no, he set another face down. All right, this is the only thing we can do. All right. <laughs> Silent Swordsman is now on the field, boys. Does he have a trap card that can stop Silent Swordsman? We'll have to see. This is going to get lowered. That's fine. Now we can activate Chaos Space from the grave. Not going to be too useful of an effect. Oh, no. I accidentally sent him back to the deck. What am I stupid? What am I dumb? Oh, I got to be built stupid, dude. I got to be built some type of idiot. Oh, my God. I'm trash at the game. All I can do is send a Silent Sword Slash. And this is literally just for searching. We're just getting more cards at this point. Oh, man. And this is this is bad. Hmm. I'm really thinking about how I would like to do this. Oh, it's so it's so risky, but I think it's the only thing I can do. All right, here we go. I'm going to see if this works. We're going to take a thousand damage here. And then once Silent Swordsman goes to the graveyard, we get to use his second ability to bring out Silent Swordsman level seven. Oh my God. And then this will put a, this will put us barely above 
This is getting. This card will let us get 1500 attack for the full time. This will put us barely above. We've declared battle. I'm just going to do it now. I'm just going to do it now. 1500. Unless I did my math wrong. Did I count wrong? No. 4300. Silent Swordsman level 7 is here now. No spell cards can be activated. So now we banish Silent Sword Slash from our graveyard and get another Silent Swordsman just for the discard power. And we end our turn. And that boost is permanent. So we should be able to stand over most things. This day. Oh my god. This duel is crazy. Negate all spell effects on the field. It's going to come down to his trap cards and what he's able to do with them. We need to check his graveyard. He doesn't have any dark magicians, right? Not that it matters, I guess. I don't know, dude. This sucks. This sucks, dude. What a what a terrible situation. This deck is not supposed to run like this. We're so low on life points. Oh no, what is he doing? What is he doing, dude? Don't do this to me. Nightmare Unicorn. Oh no, that's the perfect amount. I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, rough, rough, dude. Oh, it was a good duel, though. <laughs> Damn, it was a good duel. I shouldn't have... If I didn't banish Time Thief... Damn it. If I didn't accidentally banish Time Thief like an idiot, dude. Oh, Time Thief. Why? I'm an idiot. Oh, huge misplays. One more win to get to gold, too. Can we do it? Can Silent Swordsman work our way up through gold? Huh? Oh, we actually won a coin toss for once in our miserable lives. Time to go first. Okay, okay, okay. Not the worst hand in the world at all. Again, we're going to Foolish Burial Goods just to get that Sword Slash in the graveyard. Boom, itch it, get rid of it. Just so we can banish it because we just want as many Silent Swordsmen in our hand as possible. Banish Silent Sword Slash, great card, but we don't need it. I'm going to take another Silent Swordsman. All right, then we're going to play some Negations here. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me ditch a Silent Swordsman, I think. Let me ditch a Silent Swordsman. Real quick. Yeah, if you ask me if I regretted it, I would have to say yes. All right, well, that's all we can do. That's uh, a pretty pathetic turn on my part, not gonna lie. One standby phase goes by, 500 attack is ours. We are out in the open, though. We only have one effect negation. We have one effect negation, and that is it. I don't know if Silent Swordsman is living this turn, which is fine, because he will bring out the beefier Silent Swordsman, even though this level four version is pretty good, too. <laughs> He's gonna lay a face down card. Okay, okay, interesting, interesting. Is he just gonna, what kind of deck are we looking at here? bro maiden with eyes of blue the blue eyes player huh i've seen a couple of blue eyes players around here you're not the first by far but you know we love to see a blue eyes player i don't know if silent swordsman can handle this though this is gonna be a bit of touch and go here especially with this hand as it is oh he ended okay that's fine then that's fine if you want to end that's totally cool Ooh, phantom knight this is why this is when i would really wish that i had a that i had the other card i think we're just gonna buy time we're just gonna buy time just play for time here we just need some searching cards or a silent swordsman i mean foolish burial goods would be really good to have in hand right now i i made a mistake getting rid of that other silent swordsman it was it was greed it was greedy i i, I didn't understand what i was doing 2500 right now pretty good silent swordsman getting pretty strong if he can get up to 3000 I'm, I'm we're feeling pretty good he'd also like to be able to negate more spell cards he's just gonna play it slow too i'm down to listen i am so down to play it slow you have no idea i will take this very slow. Oh, you're setting a monster as well. Is that the egg? <laughs> All right. Give me a couple more turns here. Okay. Empowerment. This is where we can start moving. All right. Empowerment going to boost us up a little more. That's not really the point of it though. The point is just that we get to discard. I'd love to keep the chaos creator around, but I'm not feeling it right now, dude. He's got to go. He's got to get ditched to, for a special summon here. All right. Ditching the chaos creator. Get him out of here. I should have never had him in my hand to begin with. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go. All right. And then I'm just going to take this level four monster. Totally cool. I'm still not ready for blue eyes to pop up yet, if I'm being completely honest. Still would rather have more time. Dust Tornado. I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. I'm okay with this. What is this, though? Send one blue eyes monster from your hand to your deck to the graveyard and target one face up monster on the field. He cannot attack while it is face up on the field. Oh, he's going to target his own monster, probably. He's going to target. He's going to target Maiden. Oh, he's targeting me. What? Well, you've left me no other choice. I'll, 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 I'll decline that offer, I guess. I don't know if that was a bait or if he had a different plan. Maybe, but I get to do that once a turn. So if, as long as he doesn't activate any other spell cards, I'm not really worried about that. All right. Now it's time to start. Uh, We're going to start moving here. Ah, oh, but do I want to wait? though. Yeah, I don't know. I really just want to get this Phantom Knight's card in the graveyard. So I'm kind of thinking I want to do that. <laughs> I just, I, I really want to get it to the graveyard, but I'm not sure if this is exactly worth it. Uh, it's worth it. All right, let's go. We're making link plays, boys. We're making link plays. Two Tales of the Noble Knights. What should I add? Oh, man. 
All right, we're going to add the silent swordsman here against my better judgment. We'll have to see how it works out. I won't be able to special summon him. That is the that is the real painful one for this turn, at least, which I guess is fine. We want to take it slow anyway. There was just some other plays I could have made, but he's low on cards anyway. Hmm. Ooh, that's rather spicy. OK, that is that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. I, I think I have to I think I have to take this. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? All right. And it looks like we just have to end our turn there. I could have set the Phantom Knights guy, but I honestly kind of want to keep him around. I want to try to go into a Time Thief play. A Time Thief play would be amazing here. But instead, we're just going to have to hold out one more turn, hopefully. Just one more turn. Even though this feels like such a bad idea. <laughs> this this just feels awful. But another standby phase goes by, so Silent Swordsman is going to go ahead and get 500 more attack. He's really beefing up, dude. I would love to get a Silent Sword Slash in my hand. That would be crazy. This guy would be the boss monster of boss monsters. But it's fine. He'll build up attack slowly. The Silent Swordsman deck is just waiting in the wings now. He's going to set another card face down and end his turn. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Terraforming. That'll help us thin our deck a little bit. Actually, why would I want that to thin my deck? Am I an idiot? I, I might genuinely be an idiot. We're going <laughs> to we're gonna ditch terraforming here in order to get a level four monster on the field. And then we're going to make the time thief play. And then honestly, I think we... Uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know what to do, dude. I feel like we are getting baited right now. Oh my goodness. Wait, do I have a trap card in my graveyard? Oh, I do. Oh, Oh no! Misplay, misplay, misplays. I've made a gigantic misplay, but it's fine. I'll, I'll wait one more turn. <laughs> Oh, this Silent Swordsman. I am about to just attack, bro. I I am literally going to get Silent Sword Slash and just cut somebody in twain. It is going to be gruesome. This has not been my cleanest duel by far. And I am just waiting around for something to happen, too. <laughs> Another standby phase goes by. Another 500 points to Silent Swordsman. <laughs> we might hit 10k. <laughs> All right, what's his play here? What's his angle? When's he going to start playing spell cards? I can only negate one a turn. <laughs> Unless he's just not drunk drawing is he just not drawing cards he just ended his turn <laughs> he froze he just he didn't want to play all right understandable have a nice day oh the phantom knights of Sol. okay so we we got a lot of plays here all right 500 more points to silent okay this is where we're gonna make our move here boys <laughs> it has been a long enough time of waiting around i personally personally i think we've waited long enough so we're going to summon another phantom knight a warrior of course this is going to allow us to play silent swordsman in our hand get another spell in the gate going silent Silent Swordsman hits the field. Then we can just also just banish the Phantom Knight again. Get his graveyard effect. He loves being in the graveyard. Get him out of there. We don't need him in there no more. And that's going to allow us to get another Phantom Knight's card from the deck to the hand. We're going to take a little negate here just in case. And now the more I was thinking about it, honestly, the more I'm thinking about it, the less I kind of want to do Time Thief and the more I kind of want to get rid of whatever cards he has in the back row. The back row is what's really scaring me. So we might go Tornado Dragon and uh, wait one more turn. We'll, we'll see. We're going to have to see. <laughs> work <laughs> simply put we're going to have to wait and see dude i look we're just gonna cut him down with whatever he has at the very end all right so we'll play him right there that is a level four monster giving us access to a level four exceed play and we're gonna go with the back row removal technique here tornado dragon about to hit the field get him out of there get tornado dragon mm, put him down i'm about to start removing stuff what do you got face down what have you been waiting on that's what i want to know what have you been waiting on because i'll wait another turn or two don't get me wrong i will wait another turn or to you do not have to you don't have to ask me twice what's this what do you got right there dude what do you got i need to know what you have face down what what am i dueling against i ain't gonna lie this is making me heavily doubt whatever else you have man what there's no way that other face down could be of important there's simply no way if you're playing threatening roar <laughs> there's no way the other face down is important at all right there has to be i wasted my time playing tornado dragon i got two spell negates and 500 points oh my god Silent Swordsman about to be 10k. And my other Silent Swordsman about to start building up too. <laughs> Even though at this point, I, I think I kind of want just the... Oh, I should just pop it. We'll wait and see if he sets anything else. Are you good, Lou? I can't tell what's going on with this guy. I thought he was playing a... I guess I, I really should hit that face down. Oh, it was... Okay, okay, okay. He, he, is, he is playing. He's playing. He's playing. I was wondering. I was wondering. Just a normal blue eyes white dragon. Understandable. Have a nice day. I'm just going to go ahead and trigger Tornado Dragon to get that last card. Now that I know... Now that I know you're playing blue eyes, I want to know what kind of blue eyes you got. What kind of what kind of deck are we dealing with here, dude? What trap card was that? I was mostly worried about mirror for a spell card. I don't care about spell cards, man. What was I waiting on this whole time? <laughs> what? 
Do I even want to negate that? Are you baiting me? All right, hey, you got me. Tornado dragon can't attack. That's fair play. I don't know if that was just a gigantic bait, so I'm, I'm fine with letting that one through. If he went with either Silent Swordsman, I would have negated it, but Tornado Dragon, he was just here to pop two back row, which I now see was a waste of time. Now he's gonna set like three godlike trap cards. <laughs> No! Oh god damn it, dude. No, I'm, I'm done being worried, dude. I can't I can't worry anymore. Battle phase, who are you taking out? Tornado Dragon? Uh, okay. He's destroyed Silent Swordsman, which is very fortunate for me. Because <laughs> it's time for Silent Swordsman level 7 to hit the field, boys. Now no spells can be activated. <laughs> for neither of us. <laughs> We're, we are done playing spell cards, my friend. You're you're messing with the real deal now. If I can if I can draw Silent Sword Slash, I am literally living my best life. Truly, I am living my best life. Unless this trap card absolutely ruins me. All right, a new standby phase means new me. So draw chaos space. That's fine. I don't even think I want to use it. We'll switch a tornado dragon to defense. I'm going to get 500 more attack. We've reached the level of 6k. We are two blue eyes white dragons right now. Skill successor. I don't understand this deck, man. I, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting my rank. I'm tired of waiting. I've waited too long. It's time to go. It's time to send you into the, the great beyond. Ugh. And some of these, and one of these. And unfortunately, Tornado Dragon can't actually attack, so I'll just go main phase two and switch him to defense. It's, it's no big deal. All right, one more turn, man. You get one more turn. I'm not sure what you've been doing this whole time. All right, well, <laughs> I was left very confused by that. But with that, I think Silent Swordsman is going to go ahead and get the rank up to gold tier two. And we'll probably call it for this video here uh, just because we had that good dark magician duel. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely let me know down below. I might do another video with this deck, honestly, just because it's so much fun and I kind of want to play it again and play it better. But let me know if you want more Yu-Gi-Ohs down below by commenting and leaving a like. You can also check out other videos that should be on your screen right now. Other than that, I have been Dada Doya, and I will see you in the next one.